Hey guys, we are going to be looking in this lesson at the output device specifications that we see in adverts. Now, what I mean by that is when you have an output device, any sort of device that is an output device, there are certain specs that you want to look at to see like, is it a good device? Is it a bad device? Is it going to be enough? To, is it going to be suitable for my needs? That sort of stuff. Okay, so here we're going to look at a few output devices and then we're going to look at how they are shown to you in adverts and see what we can make of these devices. So let us begin. First, here we have two output devices. The first one is the um, projector. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I went for a second there. The projector and some of the specs that we look at for projectors are things like the lumens. Now, do you remember lumens from a, a previous lesson? Lumens is the brightness. Okay, it's how bright something is. Okay, and the lamp hours of a projector. So those are the two specs we look at specifically in terms of projectors. We look at, okay, lumens and lamp hours. And then other people might look at other things like connectivity. You know, can you connect... USB devices or does it connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or NFC for example. Then we have the speakers on the right hand side and we have a couple of specs there. Some of them I'll be honest with you like I don't actually know what they are. Okay so there's frequency response, there's impedance, I don't know what it is. Power output I would think is the more power the louder it is. Okay. Signal ratio I have no idea what it is. My point is that even though I've got all these things listed over here, is that there are specs for every single hardware device that we look at. And if you know what you are looking for, then you will understand what the specifications mean. So let's have a look at a computer system, specifically the monitor, okay, the screen. What are some of the specs we look at in terms of monitors? Well, we look at the DPI, the dots per inch. That's going to give us a little bit of indication of the resolution of that screen. Is it good? Is it not good? We look at the refresh rate. Remember, we looked at this in a previous video, hey, how we judged the quality of monitors. The refresh rate, we looked at the contrast ratio, okay, the brightest color, uh, brightest white to the darkest black and the difference between them. Anti-glare, that's a good one actually. And the size in inches. We also look at the size in inches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at adverts that I found online, real adverts. I've just screenshot them and put them over here. And let's see what we can find out about the output devices and specifically the specs of those output devices. So here we have our first one, okay? This is a Megatech full core i7, 10th gen 480 GB SSD PC. Okay, it doesn't even sound like I'm speaking English, but okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the, the specs of this one, okay? Right, so we've got quite a few things there, a MIDI tower case, an Intel Core i7, 10th gen, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So what I'm looking for are the output devices. So let's have a look there. There's something that mentions sound. Then we've got Intel shared graphics. So that's output, that's graphics. And oh, there we go. There's the monitor. It's an 18.5 inch LED monitor and speakers. Okay, so in terms of this ad or the specifications given here, we don't have a heck of a lot other than the size of the monitor, which is 18.5 inches. Okay, and it's an LED, light emitting diodes. That's how it is lit from the back. All right, that monitor's so lit. No, okay, sorry. Okay, so that didn't help us very much. All right, so let's look at another one. Here we have another one. What is this? I don't even know what this is called. It's a Lenovo V330 201CB all-in-one desktop PC. Ooh, all-in-one. I like those. Right, let's have a look and see what can we tell from the, the specs given here. So remember, we're looking at output devices only. So we've got, oh, there we go. The display, 19.5 uh, inches. That's cool, I suppose. There, what else? Oh, there you go. And it tells us a bit more down there. So we have a 19.5 inch um, HD. So that must be high definition. 250 nits. I don't know what nits are. Anti-glare, LED, and it gives us the size there. Uh, sorry, the DPI, 1600 by 900. So 1600 pixels across by 900 pixels down. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's more. Intel UHD Ultra High Definition, 
graphics 630 okay I don't, there's so many numbers here however if we look at everything that we just highlighted cool that is all the output and we can now tell a little bit more okay we looked at size over there there's anti-glare there's leds there's resolution so there you go that's a good indicator of the uh, specifications of those output devices